Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. Today, I want to talk about the first message of Garabandal. I don't think that we have the true first message of Our Lady at Garabandal, and I want to explain why. Okay, some context. The first message was delivered by the children on October the 18th, 1961. It was a horrible night. The weather was terrible. Rain, wind, it was torrential rain falling in the village. 5,000 people had gathered because the children had said they had announced that they were going to deliver the message on this night. They'd announced it a few weeks earlier. The 18th of October would be the date of the release of the first message. But a lot of people were really disappointed by the first message. I think people that night were expecting a great miracle or they were expecting a publicly announced date of some miracle. Instead, they received a message that sounded pretty infantilized. It sounded like something that children might have made up. A lot of people went home disappointed that night. Some never returned to Garabandal. I want to explain why, why we can be sure that the first message of Garabandal is not really the first message of Garabandal. And actually, it's something that becomes obvious pretty quickly. And I was sharing this with an expert on Garabandal only recently, and it's amazing. He's someone that studied the apparitions of Garabandal for many years. In fact, his life is dedicated to the message of Garabandal. He works full time promoting the message of Garabandal, and he hadn't noticed this obvious fact. Let's have a look at the first message. I put the English translation on the screen. And actually what I'm going to tell you applies equally in the Spanish original. Look at the message here in front of you. The thing I want you to focus in on is the tense of the verb. The tense of the verb that the message is conveyed in. The message is conveyed in the first person plural. We. We must. We must. We must. And actually, think about it. If Our Lady is conveying a message to children, she's not going to say, we must. Every message of the Blessed Virgin Mary in history conveyed to the world has been, you must. You must, or otherwise, Our Lady saying something about herself, like, I am the Immaculate Conception. But here in this message written and signed by four children, ages 12 and 13, I think at that point, or 11 and 12, this message is in the first person plural. And what that tells us is that these words that we have here in the first message are not the very words of our Blessed Mother. We can perhaps work out what her words were, or perhaps we can't. Perhaps the reason that the crowds felt that the message was so infantilized and they were so disappointed by it is because the message of Our Lady was translated by the children into their own words and put into the first person plural. Maybe the original version of the message, that maybe the original version was really similar. Maybe it was just exactly the same text, but given in the second person plural. So that would make the message appear like this. You must make many sacrifices. You must do much penance. You must visit the Blessed Sacrament frequently. But first, you must lead good lives. If you do not a chastisement will befall upon you. The cup is already filling up. And if you do not change, a very great chastisement will come upon you. Perhaps that's what the original message, the ipsissima verba of Our Lady was at Garabandal, the very words of Our Lady. Or perhaps the message of Our Lady was quite different. Perhaps she put it in more theological language, but the children, they went on to translate it into this first person plural format. Or maybe what they really mean by the first message is their response 
to Our Lady's first message. Maybe Our Lady said something really different or they saw something. And as a result, they gave this first person plural as a response to what Our Lady showed them or told them. And this is kind of how they are going to respond to it. One thing I did wonder about the first person plural is I thought about something St. John of the Cross said. St. John of the Cross said that if you receive a message from Almighty God or an angel or a saint, it's probably just for you. It's a message for you. And you shouldn't go about telling loads of other people that they need to follow this message as well. If you receive a message from God, the message is, from, is for you and you alone. The first person plural makes me think that the first message of Garabandal, if the children genuinely received this and Our Lady kind of dictated them and said, look, I want you to put it in the first person plural. Maybe the message really was just for the children and not for the whole world. Because the we version, it sounds like something that belongs only to the ones who are saying it. And the children were the ones who were saying it. Maybe the first message of Garabandau is not a global message then. Maybe it's just a particular message for those children. And that's why the language is so infantile. Personally, I think it's because they have translated the first message. And I think maybe all of the promotional material should translate the message back. If it's a message for the whole world, the message should be you. You must make many sacrifices because that's how Our Lady would have said it. I hope you found this interesting. And if you haven't, or if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments below. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.